This episode's snack review shout out goes to Yomi. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shout out in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Snack review. Bro, I am so stoked right now. This might be my favorite series I've ever made. I feel like such a genius making this series. Remember all the bad snacks we've had on this series in the past? That is all exempt now because I have five bags of Lay's chips and each flavor is a flavor I've never tried before. Be it good or bad, I really enjoy being adventurous with food and trying things that are weird most of the time it doesn't work out but when it does oh boy oh boy okay first of all what we're gonna do is see if it actually tastes like what it says it's supposed to taste like see if it tastes like the flavor second i will see if it actually tastes good and work as a chip then we'll give the rating why don't we start with a bang here let's just go for the salt and vinegar just kidding it might be salt and vinegar colored packaging but it's actually fried crab flavor mmm you know what i've never had a fried crab i've had chili crabs and i've had just boiled crabs and they're really delicious and i like potato chips so let's see if this pans out whoa doesn't smell like crab per se Smells like oily potato chips, savory smell flavor. Holy sh Okay, I gotta stop. I can't stop eating it. For those of you who don't know, haven't heard yet, chips is like probably my favorite thing in the world. I keep saying this, but it's gonna be my cause of death. Dude, it tastes like, it tastes like the picture. It tastes like a crab. My first burst of flavor. I would have guessed crab, honestly. Holy cow, how do they do it? Lay's, Lay's in China, man. Give China lace, you get these crazy flavors. And might I say, it tastes good. I can't even stop eating it and I have five, four other bags to go. Mm -hmm. Yo, I am so excited. I was rightfully excited. See, this is a flavor you wouldn't think of getting. You're like, what? Lace? Crabs? What? But it paid off. Matches the flavor really well. Tastes really good. Five out of five, baby. We're starting with a five out of five. My taste buds are thanking me. What's this? Lace ketchup chips? Just kidding, it's chili hot pot. <laughs> Numb and spicy hot pot flavor. So that's a lot of chili there. That's like some Sichuan chili stuff right there. It's a whole pot of hot sauce. That's pretty traditionally Chinese, mainland traditional Chinese. And I will be able to taste how just how authentic this flavor has been infused into the chip because I've had my fair share of these. Responsively peppered. Okay, okay. I am here for this. I can F with this. First thing though, I was expecting a much more stronger flavor. And from expecting that, it let me down. This flavor is actually pretty subdued, but you do get the taste of this hot pot, this style of numbing and spicy hot pot. I don't taste the numbing as much. There is a hint of it, so it's all right. Maybe better than average when it comes to matching the flavor of the actual chip. And taste wise, It's fine, I would eat it. I'm not a huge fan of the Ripple chips. Definitely not getting a 5 out of 5 like the crab chips. I would probably give it a 4.3 out of 5. It's still a solid, solid choice. We chilling with Earl Grey today, feeling fancy and white. Cleanse that palate because our next flavor, I am expecting subtle. Cucumber flavor. I mean, you thought it was dill pickle? Think again. 
this Chinese baby. Chinese people don't know what dill pickle flavor is. That's so trippy. It smells like cucumber. It smells just like cucumber. Holy crap. <laughs> it smells like cucumber. No way. Man, this is my favorite episode so far. It feels like I'm eating a cucumber chip. It's very dry and and crispy. That's amazing. Perfect match. Might be even better than the crab. How how much it matches the flavor. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would say it works. It tastes really good. This is a five out of five. We got two five out of fives so far. This is absolutely incredible. Five out of five. Must. This is a must get. The flavor isn't even that subtle. Somehow. It tastes better than the cucumber, but it tastes like a cucumber. It tastes like the cucumbers you've always wanted to eat, but couldn't because they weren't chips. Okay, next, wasabi. I do like my wasabi snacks. Haven't tried Lay's wasabi. Doesn't necessarily jump out as wasabi to me. It smells more like a sweet QB mayo. Now I'm even more excited. First time trying wasabi flavored chips, and I don't hate it. I quite like it. The wasabi flavor is very subtle. Probably the most subtle of all wasabi flavored uh, snacks in general. It's not even close to being up your nose or causing any harm. I don't think it could. And yeah, it does kind of uh, taste sweet. It smells like QB mayo, like I said. So it's not exactly 100% wasabi, but you can definitely taste some wasabi, a little bit of subtle wasabiness. That's gonna hurt its marks a little bit there, but it's still do doing a good job. Mm. No, okay. No, just slightly less than perfect. It's way above average, but does it work? I would say it works very well. So judging by what I've said, I'm rating this a 4.75 out of 5. Very, very good. This is spicy crayfish flavor. How is this going to be different from the crab? I don't understand. Can I taste the difference? Okay, let's do this. Smells very similar to the crabs. Kind of reminds me of barbecue, like the barbecue flavor, but not, um, less sweet and more smoky. That's, I think that's a perfect description of what I'm smelling. I'm so impressed right now. I just sit here all day and eat chips. Oh my god, I can't talk. Doesn't really smell like a spicy crayfish. But boy, does it taste like it. How did they do this? It tastes like either crayfish or prawns. My mom makes these prawns that taste exactly like this. My goodness me. I am so impressed. This is a five out of five perfect because it matches exactly and it tastes so great as a chip. Mm hmm These are bangers. These are straight bangers. I have no problem with any of these. Mm. I would get this first. This is a winner. Five out of five, baby. Then I'll get these two. The crab and the cucumber. Then I'll get wasabi. And then I'll get the spicy hot pot, which isn't just because it's the worst on this list does not make it a bad snack in any shape or form. Wow. There you have it, guys. Three five out of fives in one snack review this is amazing guys that's it the verdict is out go get yourself some lays sponsored by china because they make some crazy flavors that work perfectly see you guys next time peace <laughs>